Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony Park and I'm a real estate agent in New York City. And today we are in the Upper East checking out a $33 million duplex penthouse. I promise I'm gonna use the word sparingly, but this is the coolest apartment in New York City. Let's go. All right, so you come off your elevator entrance and immediately your breath is taken away because not only do you have views as you expect of Midtown Manhattan and Central Park, but it's this combination of arches. You don't see this anywhere. You have gold arches inside and then arches outside on your loggia that give it a feeling of royalty. And then the way that the sun comes in and bounces off, it just brings it all together, giving it a homey feel. This apartment has 5,500 square feet of space internal and 3,500 external. We're looking at five bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and two half bathrooms. Now let's head over to the great room to kick off the tour. Even though this apartment is so massive, there's a flow to the room. You move from one to another very seamlessly, and it feels very much like a home. You have the same patterns throughout. You have a fireplace to give it that warmth, a wet bar, and a terrace that wraps all the way around. We'll head outside. Stepping onto the terrace, you know I mentioned the arches that you see out here. Well, check out these beauties. They are massive. How often do you see a terrace with double height ceilings? They only amplify the views that you're getting of Central Park to the west, Billionaires Row to the south. It's quite incredible. Now passing by the living room, we're heading over to the dining room where you can feel the full grandeur of the ceiling heights. And it's my favorite part of the apartment. I want you guys to imagine what it feels like sitting here, whether it's with your family, your friends, entertaining people, and you look out onto this. This might literally be the largest window you'll ever find in this city. This is where you get a full scale idea of how large this place is. Now let's head into the kitchen. Now, this is probably one of the largest kitchens that I've seen. You can see just by the island because it is massive. You have an overhang with white oak on the front, but also the white oak that spreads throughout the entire apartment. It is a corner to unit or a corner space, so you get amazing views. Something that I love about this kitchen is that even though you have so much stuff going on, and that includes two ovens, two dishwashers, two of everything, all gagging up by the way, it doesn't feel cramped at all. You even have space for an eating kitchen. But let's not forget the gold hooded vent, which goes so well with the Albertine windows. Kicking off the second floor, we are here in the start of the primary ensuite. I think the words that really capture the essence of this room and the apartment is timeless futuristic. It looks so much like something from the future, but it could have been built 30 years ago and you would never know. I honestly don't know what it is, but I love how this bedroom is right next to this arch window. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Thor, but this feels like Thor's castle. Something that's super unique about this apartment is that the primary bedroom has its own terrace that overlooks the downstairs terrace. You might think that the concrete slabs interrupts your view, but I think it actually adds to the future effect of the entire apartment. Moving into the master ensuite bathroom. I know this is starting to become a pattern, but this is something you really won't see anywhere else. We have travertine slabs, which are massive, then Bianco Grigio on the countertops, and then this walk-in shower. Views of the Central Park, imagine it with me, naked, but feeling good, right? And you guys always know, my favorite thing in any bathroom is a tub with a view, but this time you might actually have someone else in the view, so that's new. Heading over to the east wing of the apartment is where we have the three guest bedrooms, but take a moment to appreciate 3rd Avenue because you can see it going all the way down along with another angle of the windows. Here's an ensuite bath. Two of them have their own. But the cool part is we step out onto the terrace that is shared by all three bedrooms. So you can hang out here and when you're done, you can pop back in to this bedroom. Now, like I said, there is one more over here, but we're going to skip past that one. Let's keep going. Now, before heading upstairs, I did want to mention that there is a private elevator that services just this apartment, but we're going to take the stairs. 
I know I showed you a ton of outdoor space downstairs, but we have an additional 2,100 of rooftop space that's all yours. What really distinguishes this apartment from the rest of the apartments is that its rooftop is a building's rooftop. Where else are you gonna find a rooftop that's this big? You get a glimpse of the exterior stonework. You even have a fireplace. And if nothing else, you have amazing views. 360, by the way. Good enough that you can even probably start your own rooftop bar. Make sure you invite me. This rooftop seems like the perfect place to wrap this up. That's it for the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We have so many good things coming for you. So I hope you come back for the next one. I'll see you next time. Peace.